Hello, Taurus. <laughs> Welcome to your March soul session. I forgot what reading I was even doing just now. Welcome to your March soul session. I'm Princess India. If you're new and if you're family, welcome back, my friend. If you're not familiar with what my soul sessions are, they are your spirituality as well as personal development readings. Okay, and hello. That's the three of wands that just turned over. So uh, you guys are waiting for news on something. You know what I'm saying? But Anyway, uh, yeah, personal, wait, spirituality and personal development readings that we do to look at the energies that you guys may be experiencing this month and any advice that I can offer in reference to any challenges that you guys may face. So we have a central energy, a challenge, a past influence, future possibilities, your above energy and your below energy, conscious mind, subconscious mind, all that good stuff. And, you know, use your book book. You know what I'm saying? But anywho, we are going to look at, oh, you know what? Actually, I want to look at what's at the bottom of your deck before we start. Oh, well, that's wonderful. We have the page of wands at the bottom of you guys' deck. So the undergirding energy for you guys in the month of March is more or less having an idea or inspiration to do something, but not necessarily being ready to act on it just yet. Or it may be that you don't have the resources or the know-how or uh, what have you. I mean, manpower, whatever the case may be. Um, in order to act on this inspiration that you guys have received. So jumping into your central energy, there goes the network. Okay. If you haven't joined my network, you totally should just throw it out there. Anywho, central energy, we have the ace of pentacles. That's nice. Your challenge this month is the queen of pentacles and your past influence is the high priestess Taurus. So far, this is looking really grand. So what is looking like? You guys are coming into um, the month of March spiritually connected. If you feel like you're not, I would most certainly say that uh that would want well, you would want that. Can I not talk right now? You would want that to be your goal on this month. Um, but I feel you guys pretty much are. I feel that's where uh, this inspiration has more or less come from, um, the divine and whatnot. But with this Ace of Pentacles, it's more or less a seed that you guys have. And I look at all of the Aces as if the 10 exists within all of the Ace <laughs> throat chakra as if the 10 exists within all of the aces is what I was trying to say. So this is more or less a seed that you guys, um, it would behoove you to plant, I would say. I'm not gonna say that you're gonna or you have to, you know what I'm saying? But if you choose to, in so many words. So I look at this more or less as this is um, tangible evidence of uh, what this ends. I don't know what my kid is doing. I don't know why I'm getting so many distractions when I try to record these readings. But anyway, but this is more or less tangible evidence or an opportunity that's going to be presented to you guys. So one thing I do kind of want to throw out here is the vibe I get with this for you guys, Taurus, is more or less an opportunity coming to you guys and you not necessarily feeling ready for it because it's another way that we could look at this page of wands in the reverse. So it's more or less... Um, you know, you guys having like a coming to Jesus moment <laughs> in the month of February and, you know, asking for something or desiring to manifest something or wanting an opportunity or just a desire for things to shift in your life. In so many words, another way we could look at this is um, just straight uh, influence from spirit in so many words. But I feel this opportunity coming is going to require like a sense of work. You know what I mean? Whether that's going back to school and getting training on something, or if you're offered a job that um, is in the field that you work in, but maybe it's like a certain department or, you know, like a different area that's not your area of expertise. The challenge this month is to really rise to the occasion because with the high priestess being here and the queen of Pentacles being you guys challenge, I look at both of those cards as uh, teachers so it's almost like um, two sides of one coin, if you will. I look at the high priestess energy as um, like an ethereal teacher of uh, divine wisdom, if you will. And I look at the queen of pentacles as the physical feminine embodiment of that. So it's more or less um, a certain level of mastery or something you've mastered 
um, up to this point, and it's you guys sharing that with other people, right? But this opportunity with it being an ace, it says to me that it's gonna be something that's gonna require some work from you in whatever regard. Um, but I feel like you guys should really take the chance. Like, don't allow yourself to kind of like, you know, oh, I've never done that before. Or, that's not my area of expertise and kind of cop yourself out. Now your underlying energy is the lovers in the reverse and your above energy, we have the page of chalasas. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, that this page of chalices brings me back to this high priestess. <laughs> I really feel like y'all had a coming to Jesus moment in February. It's more or less like um, thinking about it. I don't, let me see if I can show it to y'all because it's so funny. Wait, oh God, come on. See, this is why I don't, there we go. Look at me looking like a YouTuber. <laughs> Freaking autofocus. But uh, see how the dude, like, I mean, I don't know if you can see it that well. Come on. What do those makeup people do? Wait, hold on. Does that help? Wait. God damn it. Okay. Wait, there we go. I don't think you can see it too well, but it's like a reflection. Wait, hold on. Right there. It's like he's looking at himself in the water. Me looking at that, I just like feel so extra. I was able to do that with my little, okay. Look at me upgrading and things. Okay, anyway, enough of that. <laughs> Anywho, but it's more or less he's looking at his own reflection um, in this pond, right? But I'm more or less seeing this as like a tourist person like staring at themselves in the mirror and just being like, what is my life right now? <laughs> like, what, what are we doing, you know? And feeling as if something needs to shift or change. I just feel that this is coming almost like uh, in a container that you did not expect. You know what I'm saying? So this is more or less um, a desire of your heart, Taurus. I just think that um, it's not gonna come in the form that you thought. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's gonna be in an unexpected form. But I feel you guys very much called this in because it's a desire in some sense or another to um, step into something more in alignment with your truth, if you will. So if I were to put this all together, it more or less sounds to me that um, in the month of February or coming into 2021, it's more or less unearthing or um, either unearthing or attuning with a, a part of your authentic self and wanting to live that out in your daily life, if you will. Now, something to be cautious of is this lovers in the reverse that's in you guys' underlying energy because what that's saying to me, it's speaking more or less to like um, self-sabotory tendencies, right? So it's like making a choice in the direction of something that isn't in your highest good, if you will, right? And I think that would be playing small or making yourself small. So it's like with this opportunity that's offered, it more or less would be presented to you. It's not like, you know, a direct correlating manifestation of, you know, where you may feel confident, you know what I'm saying? And it's a self-sabotory tendency in the sense that, you know, oh, I was looking for something to show up that was like exactly where I'm at. Like I'm entry level and I get a new entry level position as opposed to like, I need to do something different and being offered a supervisor position when you've never been a supervisor before. And the thought would be like, oh, I'm not qualified. So I'm going to turn that opportunity down. You know what I mean? But um, I feel this is what that lovers in the reverse is really um, a forewarning of. So that says to me, there's a history of you guys finding yourselves in, in situations or circumstances where you have an opportunity to like step up but you guys have a tendency to stay where you are to take a step back because of the challenge. You know what I mean? If it if it's outside your comfort zone, if you will, or it's just totally different. I mean, and that's a very Torian trait, says the double Taurus gal over here. Just saying, you know what I'm saying? But I feel you guys should make the most of it and don't make um, a similar mistake that you have in the past of choosing something that... Um, isn't in your highest good if that's making sense now moving forward well look at that hot damn son of a gun taurus i mean y'all just the what the third sign i did it's kind of early to call it <laughs> to say that this is the best reading 
uh, I can't say it's the best because I ain't done everybody else. It's the best one so far. So congratulations on that. You guys have the nine of cups. So I'm more or less seeing this as a celebration, like, dude, and I feel like this is something you're going to be able to engage in and partake in with other, um, you know, like friends, family members, whatever, with y'all masks on and things, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I mean, unless y'all got vaccinated. I'm not promoting getting vaccinated. I don't even know if I can say that on YouTube. If this deep video gets demonetized, and y'all know you cannot say that on YouTube, you know, that's my public service announcement. Moving right along. <laughs> but I feel like this is more or less a celebration. So what it's looking like with the energy kind of leaning towards this way, Taurus, is that um, you guys making the most of this opportunity. But uh, if I could give you any positive advice, it would more or less be if this is a, this opportunity has already been presented to you or when it is, is just remember princess's words that tells you, you know, don't take a step back, you know, this opportunity is coming to you because you're deserving of it. You know, it's not some type of a fluke or an accident or, you know, something along those lines or they didn't look at your resume or what have you. So moving forward, it really looks like you guys having your wishes fulfilled. So this whole month for me, Taurus, looks like um, a manifestation month. This is something that you guys desired, that you called in. There's a little bit of self-doubt, but, um, you know, screw the self-doubt. Do it scared, dag dag son of a gun. So anywho, <laughs> that's been your reading. I'm going over to my network to do you guys extended. So if you're about that life, follow me on over there. But if not, I still love your face. And I'll see you guys soon later on my network. Just saying, love your face, Taurus.